Hi, welcome back. In the last episodes, we built a Docker image of our first microservice, which is the catalog service. Today, we'll go ahead and run this microservice as a container, or that image as a container. So let's take the first steps. Our microservice, the catalog service, depends on a MongoDB instance, a MongoDB server to run. It uses the MongoDB database for persistence. So first we need to make sure that the MongoDB database is available for the catalog service to connect to. That means we'll have to run MongoDB in a container as well. So first let's try to launch MongoDB container. But before that, we need to make sure that once these containers are launched, they should be able to connect to each other. A uh, catalog service should be able to connect to the, the part on which MongoDB is going to listen. So they should be part of the same network. For that, we'll create a network in Docker. So this command, the Docker network command, Docker network ls command will list the available networks now. Uh, we could use one of the existing networks, but I will go ahead and create a new one. I'll name it as micro access demo network. We don't need the name tag, sorry. Okay, so now we've created this new network to which we will attach both our containers. So now you can see the micro access demo network listed there. So the next step is to run the MongoDB container. So now, where do we get the MongoDB image from? We get it from the Docker Hub. So uh, there are two things we need to do. First is to make sure that we run the MongoDB Mongo image. And uh, also, we need to attach this container to the network that we just created. So we say Docker run. We pass the argument to the network that we want to use. So the micro access demo network. And then we give a name to the container, which could be in our case a catalog DB. And then which image you want to import. Mongo is the official image uh, available on Docker Hub, so I will try and pull it from there. Since I had already downloaded it before it's uh, it started up quickly. So now MongoDB started running and it's listening on port 27017 and it's on the network microaccess demo network. Now the next step is to launch our catalog service container. Again, we need to attach it to the same network as uh, we use for the MongoDB. So we'll again mention that the run network is equal to micro access demo network. Demo network. We give the container a name, which is a catalog service. And then we need to do some additional configuration. Remember in our code, our connection properties to the database or the MongoDB instance were mentioned as using an environment variable, microaccess commerce mongo service host, microaccess commerce mongo service port. 
the default values were local host and 27017 that wouldn't work in our case because it's no longer available in local host so we need to provide this environment variable for host and our port so that's what we are going to do next so we pass the environment variables env microaccess mongo service host what do we map it to it is catalog db which is the name that we gave to the mongodb container and then the environment variable for the port which is 27017 itself but we'll give it here explicitly not mandatory we could fall back onto the default setup in the property file itself the next step once this container runs, we need to test it from our host. So for that, we need to expose the port on which the catalog service runs outside of the container onto the host. So we expose the port. The port that this container is going to run by default is configured here, which is 3333. So what we are going to do here is ask it to be exposed on 8080 on our host machine so we map the three port 3333 to the port 8080 on our host and then we give the name of the image that we want to run so this is the complete command wherein we pass the network name to attach to the name of the container the environment variables the ports to expose and then the image name That launches the Spring Boot application once again. This time from the image that we created using the Docker file, uh, which we did in the last episode. So our image from the Docker's cache was pulled and then a container was built. And hopefully, so it has got attached to the network because it was able to connect to the database. There's no uh, exceptions related to that. And you can see log files, log statements saying it was able to connect to catalog db to seven So apparently it's able to access the network. So let's verify that uh, we are able to connect to this application on port 8080, which we exposed. So let's do this. So I know one of the REST endpoints for the uh, Spring Data REST APIs. So this is the base path catalog service and then SKUs was one of the repositories that we had. So on localhost, that's the on the host machine, we got the port 8080. So we use that to invoke this uh, Spring Data REST endpoint. Yes, it's successful. You get Although we don't have any records here, so this queues list comes empty, but otherwise the JSON gets populated. So that completes this episode wherein we launched a container, in fact two containers, one was the MongoDB container and the catalog service container. And our catalog service container was able to connect to the MongoDB container over a common network. And we expose the port outside of the net uh, container onto the host and we access the application via that port. Thanks for watching.